Hey, my name is Herbert Stichter. We're from Nest Control. Uh, we do uh, protection on uh, motors, uh, specialized on pumps. So we've developed uh, a Bluetooth device uh, with which you then can connect with your cell phone uh, to change settings, which replaces the optimizer. Uh, the cell phone has got a nice screen, which gives uh, more capabilities. Okay, so let's show you how to connect uh, uh, there is the Mobi icon so let's just press that to open the app and immediately all the units in the area are shown let's show you first uh, the tutorial you can see there is uh, five pages um, and uh, we'll just page fast through them read through it if uh, my uh, explanation is not good enough. All right, so let's go now to uh, local area motorscopes. <clears throat> okay, then uh, uncalibrated is shown, connect, uh, enable, and there you will see your, you've got three choices own risk, do the settings yourself, support, get somebody in your area which can help you, uh, and cancel is then uh, not to go any further. So let's go to own risk, uh, you uh, press agree, press the button, and then we can give it a name. Okay, this is for the journal that's going to be created. Calibrate. This is all the things that you need to have with for a safe calibration. Next. And uh, then it requests the maximum amp on the, on the info plate of the motor. Okay, we'll add the 3.1. You can see 10% is already added. The motor is allowed to draw 3.1 amps, so uh, we need to give a bit of a gap. Done. Next. <clears throat> Just more information for the shunt resistor on the CT, on the bigger models. Uh, to start, can they press the calibration button. It starts, checks if the current is not above the limit. Press the next button. It will then prompt you to wait till the pipe is full because then the load on the motor is going to change and you do a new calibration then. Calibration successful, done. Okay, here you can then see all the variables that you can change with red as your high limit, green the power consumed, and blue the low limit okay in power there's your three voltages phase to neutral uh, current limit is then the red green is again the current being consumed your um, phase angle green which it is running at and the low limit in blue auxiliary input for float switch which can be programmed between open and closed uh, we've got frequent start protection as well, which can be enabled or disabled, and then uh, timer settings and time and date. To change a value, uh, the only thing that uh, you do press on a pin, and we then put a new value in there, 1400, apply, uh, say we want to make another change, yes, and you see that it change is made very close to 1,400. Uh, let's uh, make a demonstration with auxiliary. If we program that to... Okay, looks like I'm impatient. To closed. Uh, yes. See the controller switches off. And we can just program it to open again. Uh, no, and then it restarts. 
All right, that is how programming is done. Uh, for more information on the site, take a picture, which you can then send to your boss, so that he's happy with your work. Picture taken, use photo, uh, and you can add some text also. Uh, demo nest. Done. Save journal. Great. This can be emailed. There is this. Oh, okay. Can emailed, press on mail. Uh, add this where you want to send it to. and sent. Okay, so from here, after we've sent the journal, another possibility is log files. Log files is there to see the trip data. So uh, 43 trips are stored, or up to. Uh, if there's less, you won't see them all. Okay, let's give the, it a name, NIST. Okay, upload there. It's busy with uh, loading of all the trip information. And you will see the bar graph moving as the uh, 0 to 42 trips is downloaded. Done. Okay, so the file is created. Let's open it. And there you can see the voltage graph. And this can then be zoomed into. So this also nicely demonstrates the zoom function. This is the voltages, and you can see every the voltages is between 216 and 226 volts. Uh, there you can see your power graph, red high limit, blue low limit, green consumed. So there you can see one, two, three dry run trips. Uh, current max current limit, the red current consumed in green, face angle in green, the limit in blue, and in the Excel sheet with uh, more information. Uh, if you don't understand the graphs, nice to go through this, and you can then get uh, all the other settings that has been done. This can also be emailed by pressing there. Uh, press or email at the sender right and press send okay. and there it has been sent 